Hey guys, welcome back to Taylor's Aquatics and Exotics. I'm Bob, of course, and this is my new uh, reptile, little guy that's a uh, oscillated Euromastix. And I'll put some information in the description about them and about him. But what's going on right here, hey buddy, He's all right, is that he got a little too cold. Um, daytime temperatures on these guys uh, need to be 110, 120, 115. And so you really have to get creative with your heat. Uh, I just had him on a heating pad and was doing some other care of other animals, been to the ark, that, that kind of thing came back. And he was really, really cold. That wasn't enough heat for him. And I've actually got a uh, heat lamp, a basking lamp, way down on him right now, trying to get him back up to the temperature that he needs to be. He's slowly coming around. He's kind of like a wind-up toy. Um, you see, he's... Uh, these guys are purely, purely vegetarian, and he obviously smells some of his greens. Uh, they like the dark green leafy stuff, and that's actually some uh, spring mix and some turnip greens. And uh, also these guys have evolved that they can eat seeds like millet and that kind of thing, so the seeds came with him. He's looking right at me, and they're so freaking stinky cute. I see you. You're okay. You're waking up. He's less than a year old. Got him from a couple. I see you. I see you. What's that? That's the camera. Got him from a couple. Uh, she's downsizing uh, over in Knoxville, about an hour and a half from me. And so uh, this is one of her reptiles that she had posted in a local reptile Facebook group. And uh, so I was like the lucky one that got him. I've never had a Euromastix, but... Got him a seat or two there. almost got him some wingless fruit flies, but he wouldn't eat them because they only eat veg vegetable matter. So I'm going to be mixing him up some uh, potting soil. It's nothing except soil. He's real curious about what's going on. He's got a nice, nice little fat belly. She had just got him a few months ago, or several months ago, and he went into brumation right after that. So he's been asleep. These guys take three to five years to grow out to their uh, full size, so they're real slow growers. Uh, he's in the group of spiny tail lizards. Uh, he is an agamid lizard in that family They're just so stinking cute I know people that have them Eric Furlow, uh, Q Aquatics Susie Q um, but I had never heard of them until Harry's awake now now he's warmed up he said there's my bow I could keep him in frame there's your bow bubby that's his favorite piece of wood this basking piece of wood. Isn't that funny? Just like a, a wind-up toy. Once he got warm enough, he got active quick. Yep. He got active quick. He's about... Hmm... Maybe four inches now. Maybe four and a quarter. I'm thinking what a, a dollar bill would look like there. That UV is doing great, isn't it? He already ate a big piece of um, 
the turnip grain and you saw him get a couple of seeds there but i'll do a real species profile on him for anybody that's interest, interested in this cute little reptile Let's see if i can not shake this too much i'm having to hold there we go what's going on you gave me a scare there took him out of his little shoebox thing and he was sleepy sleepy and wouldn't wake up and holding him and blowing on him and then even a heating pad under him didn't do it. I had to get this light down on him. I had to get him hydrated now. They don't drink water. Very, very, very rare. They're from arid conditions and uh, desert. Uh, not even supposed to soak these guys. Um, some people say only spray them maybe lightly once or twice a week. So that's your cold area over there. We haven't got that got that uh, set up yet. Yeah, he knows the difference right away. He'll be coming back. That's where he's going to have his six or seven inches of soil mixed with sand. And these guys did dig four feet in the substrate in the wild, so you'll be looking to dig. He's in a 10 gallon tank for now, which is huge for him. I don't know what he was in, but for now I'm gonna keep him on his warm side, his hot side down there. Look at him, he's up now. That's what made me think I'd get him some wingless fruit flies right there, what he's doing, but he's also picking up just grit and things for digestion, so. He will pick up the seeds. I saw him do that. And he's got all kinds of good greens and stuff now. And I'm going to sit here with him a few more minutes with this hot light on him. That is hot. Of course, he can't touch it. That's too hot. But you see what just five minutes of the light being right above him did. You're so stinking cute. I need a name for him. I didn't even ask her if he had a name. That's your wood there, isn't it? That's your basking log. Got to get him some rocks in here, some flat rocks. I've got plenty of those because they hold the heat too. Look at that. All right, guys. You think he's cute? You want to help? Uh-oh. Yeah, that stuff. I haven't cleaned the sides of this good yet. Yeah, that's all smagnum, smagnum moss. I better get out of here. Yeah, you don't need to be eating it either. Come on back over here. Over here on the warm side and get your, get your seeds. This video's gone way long. It's gonna be 10 minutes, I guess. Cause I do want him to come back over here and eat some more. Oh, you like the Energizer Bunny once you warmed up. There you go. He was all but dead 10 minutes ago. There's your bow. That's your bow. That really stimulated him too when I broke up some of the greens and laid them in front of him. He opened his eyes and started flicking his tongue. Yeah, here's your bow. Your bowl and your log came with you, and your seeds. I'm gonna clamp this so it stays down close to him for a couple of hours while I'm working right in this area. What's in there? Smart. That's the little uh, one of the little ceramic caves I put over him to try to trap heat when he was just on the heat pad that's underneath that towel. And that didn't quite do it. Look at him. He's all over the place. Alright guys, thanks for watching. You are just... Look at you. Oh my gosh. Yeah. It's kind of like his leg is a little stiff or something there.
think he hasn't injured it somehow. I don't know how he could have maybe just been cold. I'll keep a close watch on that because I didn't notice that at all before. My goodness. Thanks, guys. Take care. I need names for this guy. Better lay that light down just a minute. Thanks for watching.